Hello there, my name is Sean B. Martin, and we are reading from my first blog on the internet. I am about to turn 18. I've got a steady girlfriend, I've got a job, and uh, you don't know yet, but I'm thinking about buying a car. It's at a very important time in my life. So this is from the 1st of August, 2003, it's a Friday. Sorry it's been so long, I haven't been busy, rather lazy. Anyway, last weekend I worked 5.30 to 10.30 on Friday night. Nine, isn't this exciting? Aren't you enthralled right now? 9 to 6 on Saturday, and believe it or not, had off on Sunday. So I went to Hershey Park with the girl. To quote Christian, much fun was had. Why, why is that Christian's thing? We went on all the water rides, including the Canyon River Rapids, three times in a row because it was so f***ing hot. I'm talking 95 degrees or more crazy hot. On Monday, and in fact through the rest of the week, I've just been relaxing, hanging out with the girl when we have... I'm, I'm not actually, like, putting that in there. That's what I wrote. And I think throughout this I continue to give her weird names and pet references. And sorry. I'm sorry in advance. Watching movies or swimming or whatever. Her, she had a pool. In my alone time, I've been listening... That's why I was dating her. Obviously, she had a pool. I've been listening to a lot of music. Anyone ever heard of an awesome ska core band, Spit Valves? Again, another band that I've drummed on my drum channel. Oh my god. And playing lots of video games, mostly Roller Coaster Tycoon, which I f***ing love! I love that game so much. I should play it on my gaming channel. My dad and I sat down last night and configured our new PC. We're looking at a Dell or a Hewlett Packard. My vote is for the HP, because at $40 less than the Dell, it has double the RAM and hard drive. My dad is talking to some tech guys at work to find out what's better about Dell. I love Dell. I, I, they're like the, the best of both wor worlds. They're cheap, and they give you a pretty good value. Or at least they did. I haven't, this, uh, this computer I'm using right now is a Dell. I've also started playing Neopets again. I hope that all of you know what Neopets is. It's an, I, it's an amazing lasting accomplishment on the internet. I cannot believe that it is still going so strong. It's ridiculous. It's bigger than it's ever been. Uh, it's the best waste of time on the internet. This was 2003! 2003. 2003! YouTube did not exist yet. Facebook did not exist yet. And Neopets was already huge. Um, gigantic community, tons of fun games to play in, or Neopoints and the like. I've been playing it off and on since August 2 Thousand! Oh my god, I have to look this up and find out how old it is. Neopets. Okay, I started playing it immediately after it went live. It went live November 15th, 1999. On June 20th, 2005, which was right around the time of the creation of YouTube, Viacom bought Neopets for $160 million. Wow. It's, it's an amazing thing. I, if you've never gotten into it, it's just insane. It's insane. And it's awesome how well it works. It's a very well-oiled machine. I never remember having any like major problems. I had an, an account hacked, but that was a pretty typical... That's like getting your Blizzard account hacked. It's just... It happens sometimes. Okay, so anyway, Neopets. Uh... If you follow the link and sign up, I get some Neo points. That's why I hyperlinked it. And then I'll reward you by sending you some cool items. Just make Sean the cool guy your Neo friend and I'll hook you up. Let's see if I can say that or if I'm going to have to bleep it. Does Sean the cool guy bring you to me? Photo bucket account? Is this mine? No. Someone else picked up Sean the cool guy after I stopped using it. That used to be my aim account that used to be my email address that it used to basically be my handle it's not for this blog so you won't find it that way <laughs> but uh, anyway make me your neo friend I don't still have that account sorry so tomorrow the girl and I are going to Hobith Beach to prove it's not just for gay couples that's right bisexuals can go too. wink so who's the bisexual Sean why the mystery uh, Holly says, I'm bisexual, and she was. I can go. Blah ha ha. Holly, Ro Roller Coaster Tycoon makes me happy. I was addicted to The Sims. I thought you didn't play video games, Holly. Addicted to The Sims theme park for the longest time. Why does reading about your life never bore me? Look at me, not boring. Uh, and Shane, uh, Shane, who I went to Rehoboth with with my family, 
I was just at Rehoboth this past weekend. It was great. Weather was amazing. Hopefully your weather kicks ass too. Have fun. Peace, man. So, a couple days later, Wednesday the 6th of August. So, Rehoboth Beach was kick ass. Who would have thought otherwise? Weather was amazing. Drive was three hours. Traffic was non-existent. And we had an absolute blast. We were on the beach and in the water for hours. We saw a cool sandcastle building contest. We got dinner at Dos Locos, an awesome Mexican place. I got a new Paul McCartney poster and 50% off SpongeBob merchandise. And beautiful got a hanging stained glass decoration. My stuff sounds way more fun. Stained glass decoration. I worked on Sunday and then Monday I came where I am now, my grandma's house. This was the point where... No. Soon, soon after this, I will graduate high school and then I lived at my grandma's house most of my time. I went home occasionally. I went to stay with my girlfriend at college a lot, but I spent most of my time at grandma's. Uh, we've had lots of funs. We went to Fud Rockers, awesome burgers. Saw Shanghai Nights, which, eh, not bad. Not bad. Better than Charlie's Angels, too. Went to see Pirates of the Caribbean, second time just as sweet. I'm assuming the first one? 2003? Pirates of the Caribbean. Come on. Come on, auto search. Why? Why you make me click? 2000. Three, right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, first movie. Uh, and I've logged quality hours on Animal Crossing. Oh, amazing game. Amazing game. Because it's one of the first video games she's ever seen. She can actually keep watching. So she's watching my Let's Play, like while I'm playing. I also enlightened her to the ways of Homestar Runner and Neopets. I'm going home today, and then tomorrow, Honey gets back from volleyball camp. Yay! And Holly says, Homestar Runner, I love the strong bad emails. Oh my god, this is so bizarre. It, for those of you who might not realize, I just went back to the well and I did a strong bad email joke on my channel with the clones. Guys, Homestar Runner. <laughs> okay, Sunday, the 17th of August, I am currently reading From a Buick 8, which was a very disappointing Stephen King novel. Hey, check it out. Sean's leaving some info. Bloody amazing, I know bloody? I'll start by apologizing. Apologizing for my stupid, stupid computer. The reason I haven't been able to update was because our last computer, rest in peace, got attacked by a virus, parentheses, which then replicated into 900 versions of itself, and would barely function, hence the new computer. I don't remember that. Getting attacked and taken down. Pentium, oh, this is going to be interesting. Here's some stats for y'all. Pentium 4, 2.6 gigahertz with hyper-threading technology, 512 megabyte RAM, Oh, this hurts. This hurts. 80 gigabyte hard drive. The last time Carter and I recorded Portal 2 Co-op, I recorded video for the entire time we were playing. The amount of video that I captured is double, double the capacity of that hard drive. Just the HD video. 80 gigabytes is nothing. Uh, DVD capability, our old one did not, so this is our first DVD reading machine, not writing, just reading, and so much more. It's like an angel of mercy. It's so fast my eyes bleed. Can't say I'm not a passionate writer. In other news, I'm in another band. How amazing is it? Is that it's been too long? So this is interesting. I'm getting, you missed all the, I mean, my old band was not that interested, interesting or organized. It was, it was a bunch of kids. This turned into something serious and important, and we did we did a lot of stuff, and we were we didn't ever release a CD, unfortunately, but I felt like we were established by the time we eventually did go our own ways. Anyway, uh, again, John was my hookup. We can't seem to escape each other. His band, Waiting Abroad, was in need of a drummer because their drummer was moving to vocals exclusively. I've practiced with them two times and have learned four songs pretty well, I think. It's very exciting. I'm very excited to start playing again, especially if we begin playing shows. I reheaded all my drums except the kick, just for the occasion, and they sound awesome. Now, if only I had cymbals that weren't cracked. Story of my life. So, I've just been chilling lately, working on weekends in the odd evening or two. I heartily recommend the cult classic UHF starring Weird Al. I mentioned that on at least one uh, episode of Five Things. That's really funny. I'm not being sarcastic either. It's really funny. I also recommend The Stand by Stephen King, which is probably my favorite book of all time. It still remains one of them. 
Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Right now I'm reading his latest, Stephen King, from a viewer gate. So far it's promising, but what would you expect from King? Till next time. And turned out not that great. Uh, dude, I've heard of that band. They are so good, especially that John kid. He's hot. Well, I hope you play good for him. That was left by John. And Holly said, my grandmother is reading that book. Nice grandma. UHF rules, man. Ah, dances. She dances a lot. Okay, Thursday, the 21st of August, 2003. I've been freaking out this week because school is coming up and I've still got movies, games, and books I haven't gotten to or finished yet. Oh my god, this, this is the story of my life. I know that sounds so stupid, but during the school year, I'm not planning on having much time for all, all the games I'm playing. School Monday through Friday, work Saturday and Sunday, games, oh wait, there's no room left. I'm going to start on my story again tomorrow, hopefully. I haven't done a thing with it since sometime around February. I mentioned this in the journal because, believe it or not, two years later, I'm not done with the story yet. I started it in a study hall my freshman year, and I wrote it until my senior year. It was my uh, senior year like project that we had to complete. We had to complete an out-of-curriculum project of some kind. A lot of people just did stuff like community service or like document a family vacation to Italy or something. I wrote a book. I wrote, I, I don't remember how long it was, 60,000 words, 65 maybe. It wasn't, that's not long. That is a very, very short book. And I'm, I have no idea how far I am in, here, in, in it at this point. I do still have it, in case you're wondering. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's got some good ideas in it. Um, good ideas, not great writing, awful, awful character names. But it's because it was sci-fi. Anyway, uh, starting my story again tomorrow. Haven't done a thing with it since uh, February. For those of you who don't know, I'm writing a science fiction story slash book slash novel, depending on how long it gets. We're going to say novella. It was going very well until I realized I wrote myself excuse me, into a corner, but in the last week I figured out a way to get out of the corner and continue. I wonder what the corner was. I work tonight until 10 o'clock, and tomorrow I work until 9.30. By the way, I'm working at the same place that I work now. I left this place when I went to college, and now I work there again. Same place. Different job. I was a cashier. The rest of today, I babysat Wonder Woman's little brother, mowed the grass, and played my new favorite game, Warcraft 3. I just got it, and I love it to pieces. Man, what a great game. John and Karen dropped by today, Karen and I worked with, and I was sort of scared, especially because John was wearing girls' pants. He had a butt. I found it most desirable. Comments say, Sean, number one, I'm on your website. That makes me happy. Number two, you found my butt most desirable. That just plain turns me on. No, just kidding. That's from John. Uh, Holly says, sexy girl's pants are good though, right? Is she flirting with me? Sorry, no time for games, but what about after school when you're not doing your homework? She, well, oh, I said, well, that rarely happens. I'll probably be up till 1130 playing them now. <laughs> uh, video games and keeping me out of bed. That is also a recurring theme. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Sean's Online Blog. I appreciate it. If you really liked it, leave a like below. If you really, really liked it, leave a favorite, and I'll give you a hug. Oh, what the hey, I'll give you all a hug.